Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock where I do need to just have a little look because I'm at the beginning of a recording session at what I need to do today. Oh yes, yes I had a, a, an order didn't I? I remember. I was going to install the simple bookcase, go and find the piece for Amira's electric hill and then if I had time go and look for the telescope piece. Of course, that probably won't happen. <laughs> Because I'll come out, I'll walk out the door and there'll be something happening. You wait. Always the way. Okay, walked out the door without something happening. I know it took me a few minutes to get this all rearranged a bit. Last episode. But oh my goodness, am I happy that I did. It was awful. mushrooms in there. I think mushrooms are more liked than tomatoes. I'll try everything. Um, tomatoes were what we did last time, I think, because we didn't have many mushrooms. It is a fang day as well. Cool. I should be able to c pick up one commission at least. So let's see. Uh, petrified wooden sticks, always the way forward. Because it pays like three times as much as all the other ones. <laughs> so why not? I'd love to take the chromium steel bar ones as well once I can get chromium. I don't think I can get it from... I will check though. Because we will be going to Gecko today later on. So I'll have a look. I'll have a little look. Uh, let's go grab the stuff out of the box. So we'll just do all of our little bits and pieces. There's no mail today either. But I feel like we are kind of getting towards the end of all the side quests. So I'm quite glad that I uh, put in our little... Our, our little um, main quest last time, so. Uh, what am I doing? We want to be recycling some stuff now. So hopefully these recyclers have remembered who they are this time. No, they haven't. They think they're recycling. You! You are not. A oh, actually, that one is. Ah, I wonder if that's what it is. Maybe I'm standing in slightly the wrong place. And there is no problem with the machines other than I have no space in my yard. That might be the thing. Ah, yeah, there was a recycler behind me. I think I now know the reason why. So if any devs were looking at that, don't don't be looking for bugs in your machines. It was me standing in, in the gap. Although, it, it, <laughs> if you're looking at it like that, it, 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 yeah, why is it picking up the one behind you when you're facing forward? That's not the greatest, but, you know. I do want to upgrade my uh, scrap contract, but there are other things I want to do first, so I don't want to do that until this workshop doesn't look so cramped. Once the workshop looks less cramped and it has a bit more space in it, then I'll update the scrap contract, but I'm saving up till then. Okay, so... I need to see how much canvas has been done. Um, none, probably. So we can make eight. I've made the wool cloth that I need for the steel spear. But we don't have the chromium bars. Or, oh, no, we do have the chromium bars. Sorry. We do. And we don't have quite enough petrified wood. So when I head out to the fowler, I should do that. Okay. Okay, I don't know. So, uh, are any of them complete? Not one single one. Right then, so we need to go and get petrified wood for both the uh, spear and the petrified wood uh, stick order. And then I need to go get jute to finish off the canvas orders. So just for those, that's what I need to do. So, I think then on the way past out to the desert then, so I should go to the moisture farm, then out to the desert, past Unshaw's house, um, go to Fang's on the way to the moisture farm, and then try and find the telescope piece, and then after that I'll do the electric kiln. I think I'll leave the electric kiln for now. It doesn't really, it doesn't really so, so well fit into my plans. 
Well, I suppose it kind of does in a way, though, because I could just do that on the way up to Unshores, couldn't I? Kind of. Yeah, okay. So we've got things over here. Things over here are... Oh, do I have... I don't know if I've got enough uh, data disks. 78? Oh, I've got loads now. When did I get all those? Yay, awesome. So. <laughs> I want to check on my research because I'm sure I recently finished one. I want to make absolutely sure that I've um, started a new one, which I have not. So we did the industrial grinding tools, so I think it's now a case of industrial machine tools. Then I can look at the Super Dew Collector. And then I finished all of the component creating machines. Um, and I can just work on all of the product creating machines. Very good. And once I get the Super Dew Collector, I will make them. I will refine them all the way up so that I'm getting the most dew off one thing. Then I will be prepared to collect it once a week. Okay. Did I get burnt out on collecting dew from dew collectors in my EA run? No. No, that would never have happened. Oh my, I, what? I can't find F on my keyboard. No. All right then. Bang you boy, you're up next. gone bye bye oh does that mean i've done all the experiments yes i think it does so now we can take that out so um but what i need to make sure is that i have the mapo tofu stuff for fang each week if i if i have to but yeah we finally finished um can i remove that reminder delete Yeah, finally. So basically that means I finally found all of the different uh, experimental medicines now. If we have a look in the clinic. I want to get some Fang Special X and see if it helps me upgrade my horse. If I can. Alright, let's have a look then. See what that does to my horse. Definitely something you can feed. Sorry, I'm massively thirsty today for some bizarre reason. I, that's probably because I went for a big old walk. How, I'll tell you how many steps I did on my big old walk. I went Christmas shopping and I walked all the way down to the retail centre and it took me... I did... 6,000 steps. <laughs> So that was an okay little walk, wasn't it? For a bit of Christmas shopping. Alright, so anyway. Let's check you. And raise. Bang special X. So at the moment... Hmm. We've got speed at th three and a half. Stamina at two and a half. 95.9 stamina. Okay. Ooh. And it went green. Oh. It says not to raise things too much. So upgrade the mount attributes is the stamina and loyalty, I'm guessing. And the spang the fang special X is for the speed and stamina. Very nice. And if I want a white horse, I can feed this one greeno later. randomize the, the attributes so that might switch speed and stamina I'm not sure and randomize mount buffs oh effect okay 
Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with this horse as it is, to be honest. It gets me about, doesn't it? Which is the main thing. Right, so, onward! I, I was just see. Oh, Mort. I, yes, I got another picture, didn't I? So, Mort is a, a little. Ah, this a is. A little aside here. Though I'm glad to have this back, the memories that come with it are uh, unpleasant. Who could have known where things would go? That old fool, Dyson. He believed Sandrock held countless hidden treasures. One day, one of his men fell in a hole, and it turned out he was right. The old world metropolis under our feet held untold amount of relics, mostly intact, too. Countless folk rushed in after that. Vegetation was trampled, water was squandered, and animals Aww. lost their homes. Only the roar of machines and an inseparable haze were left here in Sandrock. It was basically a gold rush. Martels and my regrets meant little to the newcomers. And once the railway was open, there was really no stopping them. We had to watch those relic rush miners pluck every petal off our desert flower. And soon there was nothing left. Young one, thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone who will hear them. <laughs> Please stop by if you find any more of my photos. I love the richness of the backstories in this game. I love the fact that you can find out little things like the meerkat seems to be living in that shed. The history of Mort Martel. Fang's history. What goes on with that? That's still a bit of a history mystery, I guess. Katori's son. Like, all the little tiny details that you can discover in this. It's just amazing. I mean, it took me way too long to realise that Hugo was Heidi's dad and that Vivi was Heidi's grandma and Hugo's mum. That is super sad. So now I have some... Uh, enough for a few days worth of research. And, le and some leftover data disks, I can make some stuff. So I'm thinking, how about we make this big sandy statue? Because I bet that's a large relic. It better be. No, it's not. Is it a small relic? No, it's not. Of course, it's a medium relic. Okay, I'm going to put it on display, though. We'll take away the golfing astronaut for now. Why is he back to front? Did I, should I put him in the over there? Put him in storage. And then we'll put Meowsis there. Meowsis is kind of cool. And then we'll, we'll put, try and put him over this side. And see if he's the right way around there. He's still the wrong way around! Ah, how dare he be the wrong way around! Okay, so <laughs> next one, uh, let's do the sailor's horn. The ship wheel model. The cross anchor. And the golden candlestick. And then, I think we, do we have, any, we've got loads of pieces of golden candlestick now, gee. We've got loads out of the relic bags, I think. And that, my friends, means I now get the Funky Explorer Scarf. What? I've never had a Funky Explorer Scarf before. I haven't got any of them. It's like the third one I've got. I was thinking I could donate it to... Well, I put one in the box. Let's see if I can donate the Funky Explorer style Scarf to the museum. I would laugh. I would laugh so much. Um... No, I can't. Okay, it's fine. Right, okay, uh, so I think I've done all the things around this little section, so over to the moisture farm next. Soon you'll be as good as lightning was. Don't you worry, little horse, I'll just keep feeding you pills from <laughs> Fang's place.
Okay, Zeke, I've come for all your jute. You only have five, but I don't care. I want it all. Uh, apparently that's impossible for me to do because I'm done. Okay, right, off we go. Then we want to go to... Well, actually, should we just go straight out to the Fowler? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Go, I'll change my mind. I'm gonna go straight out to the Fowler. Gonna look for petrified wood and telescope pieces. And double check if we can get chromium in the gecko ruins, because I'm out there under the impression I can't. But it's probably just that I haven't properly checked and it's maybe down lower or something like that. Because it's asking for a lot of chromium for something that I technically can't get right now. Whether that's because my workshop's very far ahead or not, I don't know. Uh, is the tree there? No. I'm getting a lot of commissions for petrified wood so I'm going to have to start searching further and further into the desert for them. Looks like that tree is there, and probably the one over by the bones is, so... Okay. Check that in a minute. I just want to check first. And it's part three of the telescope we need, by the way. Iron manganese. Oh, as soon as we get down to the next level, we get chromium. Well. <laughs> I see. Why is it not saying telescope pieces anymore? I'm just going to check that I don't have all the telescope pieces. Well, no, it would tell me if I did, wouldn't it? Mission. Yeah, I don't have the third piece of the astronomical telescope. Why is it not telling me that there's hydraulic rod? That's really weird. I'm extremely confused by this. I better not have decided that I can't get these this piece of stuff anymore. I certainly haven't handed it in yet. Golden Eagle, Fiber Mesh, Golden Eagle. Hmm. Advanced Toolbox, Golden Eagle. Second. From Gecko Station Abandoned Ruins. Gecko Station Abandoned Ruins, Gecko Station Abandoned Ruins. Yeah, it definitely is here. I was thinking, or oh, maybe the third piece is somewhere else, and that's why it's not letting me. Uh... Oh, great, it's, it's right there. Fantastic. Ah! <laughs> it's my gold supplier! disappeared i was too slow because i was too happy about finding the astronomical telescope piece number three which i have now found fantastic um i don't know if there was anything else i needed in here so i'm gonna leave for now because i definitely definitely need more to get uh the <laughs> the petrified trees so i can always come back if there's anything that i So we've done that, and then it's into the breach to finish off the kill. And then we're great. So there's only one piece of petrified wood we need for this, but then we also need some for sticks as well. So I'm just going to... Keep chopping this, for a start. 
So it looks like I'm going to get five due today. So the canvas ones, I'll have to just slow down on taking those and just uh, until I can sort of get them done. So, but we've got like a week to get them done. So I should easily be able to get it done within the time frame allowed. Um, five sticks. Anything I needed to have. No, there was nothing I needed to have um, pinned at the moment. So it will be 13 out of 10 plus 1. Yeah, we're fine for that then. I could always see if there's any opals about because opals seem to be like the thing. I haven't really tried giving lapis out though. So I'd like to try that a little bit as well. Good job I'm finished, eh? Because uh, we apparently need to go for a, a fireside meeting today. So um, that would be an ideal time. To it's actually completely ideal that we came out here then because that means that like everything else that we need to do today is around the square area because the breach is right there and so is Anshul's house. So yeah, that could not have worked out better if I'd have planned it, which I didn't. <laughs> well, I planned it and then changed the plan and then the plan was perfect somehow. So yeah. There we go. Best change of plan ever. Come on, little yakmels, you can do it. I can sort of see why the recommended did turn the shadows off because it does tip make it lower, uh, slower to load, but it makes it so much prettier looking. So, what, throwing rock? No, I don't need. I don't need more of those. However, it's good that they're around here because um, there is a chest that I've already picked up now, but that is like sort of hanging by a balloon from there. So to have throwing rocks in the flower beds nearby is actually quite useful. Ooh. Ooh, that's weird. Man, I should have played some critters with pebbles. So I just don't have time right now. I'm late for this meeting anyway. Hello, everyone. Glad you could all make it. This'll be my first time presiding over the fireside in a while. <laughs> Hope you can be patient while I shake the dust off a little. <laughs> Ahem. <clears throat> Let's get right into it. So, an update on my anti-desertification efforts. After exploring the previously undocumented shipwreck ruins with the builders and Zeke, we might have stumbled upon an old world solution to our sand problem. So next... The shipwreck ruins? I'm sorry, when was this? When you weren't looking? Oh, you know, recently. That place is in unexplored hazardous ruins, is it not? It reeks of danger. I'll just come out and say what everyone's thinking. We can't stop you from continuing to put your own life in harm's way or neglecting your official duties, Trudy. But taking both builders, Sandrock would be ruined twice over already without them. Also, to base our future on the potential of a corrupted technology, are you mad? Making such a rash decision was irresponsible and unfitting of the office of mayor. I'm right behind him and I've got some very big boots. That's what I'm gonna say. I... Uh, I... I insisted we go! I appreciate you Shut trying up, to stick up for me, but... No, he's right. I acted rashly. The entire purpose of our system of government is to stop the few from going against the will of the many. What can we expect to happen next when our own mayor has no respect for law and order? Pastor, please. Can we let her finish? Trudy didn't gather us here just to serve us another help and a bad news. And in the end, here we all are, safe and sound. So let's show a bit of respect, shall we? Trudy, please, continue. Uh, uh, thank you, Matilda. What I want to say is, with Zeke and Director Chi's help, we're using Old World technology to develop a viable topsoil for use in the desert. It means we will be able to plant trees into the desert. Real trees! Soon, we plan to test plant a plot of trees near Gecko Station. If it grows, we have a real chance at reforestation. We can make Sandrock green again. We can stop the sandstorms. We can... 
we can even stop our decline. <sighs> I want to be enthusiastic. It's just... Yes, yes, we've heard it all before. The same old song and dance. Such hubris. To think nature is something to be controlled. It wasn't nature that caused this, though, was it, Miguel? If you knew anything about your history, you'd know it was man that did this. So, you haven't even tested it, and you want to sell us on this? Ha! You have an opinion now? Go back to your desk and put your feet up. What about like the you know tunnel we talked about, Trudy? Well, maybe things are different this time. Um, guys, hello. Tree planting, count me in. <clears throat> folks, a word. I'm in the same boat as all y'all folks. This is the first I've heard of all this as well. Y'all are right to be skeptical. But when I look into the eyes of our mayor, as she makes her plea here in front of us all, I see hope. I see light. Think about all the harm those sandstorms have done us. How many homes, how many lives have we lost? I say, if there's even a one in a hundred, no, one in a million chance that we could make all that go away and bring safety back to our home, why not? Why wouldn't we take that chance? This is our ray of hope. Who's with me in Trudy? Yeah, let's give it a shot. I mean, as long as we get to plant trees, I'm down for pretty much anything. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed to just like, let's plant trees. Let's plant trees. Hmm. Trudy, I reckon you still got work ahead of you. Tell us what you need us to do. Um, thank you so much, Minister. I have some seeds for black saxel trees with me. Zeke thinks they will grow well in the new Biocrest plot that we're setting up over by Gecko Station tomorrow. If anyone wants to help us plant the trees, just come up and grab a few from Zeke. Splendid. I think that about covers it all. I and everyone else await your good news. Meeting adjourned. And conserve water. Okay, I want to play some critters. That got kind of heated. Miguel had even me convinced that maybe what we did wasn't such a good idea. Oh well. What's done is done. Yep. Can't take it back. Easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Take these seeds and plant them near Gecko Station tomorrow. With the hydroponics, you can quickly cultivate a large amount of bio crust. I'll also get some down tomorrow and you can handle the rest. Here, take some bio crust and wheat straw. Please, take them with you. Just take these seeds and plant them in the designated planting area near the Giegler Station tomorrow. To plant faster, you'll need to have a level 2 planting toolkit. I have the recipe for it right here. You can have it. Oh, fantastic. I, I've been waiting for one of those. We'll see you tomorrow. Nice. Nice, nice. Anyway, I was going to play some uh, critters with Matilda. Let's see. Always start elephant. Does she always start elephant? I don't know. And uh, fox. Elephant again. Victory! Yeah, she pretty much does always start elephant. She's the same as me. Avoiding each other's moves. Nice! Full score! I like playing critters with you, you're good till next time. Like, Matilda, you see, is really low down still, I think, anyway. Um, don't think she's even a buddy yet. Even Yan is my buddy. Oh no, maybe she's further up than I thought. Where is she? Oh, 
Uh, wh where, where, is, where is she? There. Oh, she's like a buddy at two and a half. I could take her on like play dates and all sorts at the moment. Oh, that's fine. Okay, cool. Who can't I do anything with? Pablo, Meerkat, and Jasmine are all really close, and Banjo. There's like five of them that are really close to being my buddy, and then there's like another six, seven, eight of them that are like not that close. And one of them's Jensen. Jensen I actually did well with last time. But it was all from commissions, so I need to... I think I just need to go get some chromium out of the ruins. And then we'll be fine. Right, okay. But that'll be something I can do maybe tomorrow after we plant the black saxel seeds. But for now, I think what I want to do is to head into the breach. Banjo, hello. I was going to get you some opals, but I forgot. But I still got some. Just fine. Um, that's a rather full looking inventory. How bad is it? Really bad. Alright then. That's one thing I didn't think. When you go into places like the, the abandoned ruins, you pick up a load of stuff. And then you go into somewhere like the breach, you pick up a load of stuff that's different. So it's, not, it's not that great. So we'll quickly pop in. I kind of feel almost like I want to put the stable with its back to the fence because it's like when you ride up, the first thing you're sort of faced with is a big fat wall. And it's actually not too nice. It's the, the barn isn't too bad actually. So when I upgrade it, I'll have a little play around with placements. I think it's a lot, it's an awful lot better than it was. So much better than it was, but it still needs a bit of a tweak, I think. Right. That'll do, that's fine. I just had so much stuff. Right. Into the breach. And if I can get into the breach and find the things to finish the kiln, and I've technically done everything today that I wanted to do. Oh, Justice wants something. Mm. He's running away. Okay, it's, it's fine. I'll catch him later. When they're running, it's just a nightmare to catch them. Matilda's back off to the church dormitory, I think. Right, so. Into the breach. And apparently here I can get the condenser thing. But I don't know where. It's certainly not one of the prizes. I just have to hope. It's a condenser I need. I mean, maybe I could go to the lower level. Yeah, well, actually, it doesn't. I don't know what to get for prizes on the lower level, so I'll give it a try. Let's give that a try. It'll definitely be probably be time to go to bed by the time I finish doing this. So let's have a look in all of the vending machines and just make sure that there is not a condenser in here. So there's opals in here. Rose stone, lapis, uh, fluorite, amber, bloodstone, and quartz. All of the things. You can also get relic bags in here. Good to know. Good to know. So if I'm struggling for relics, that'll be the thing to do. But no, certainly nothing's looking like a condenser in here. So let's just run on, run on through and see how well I can do on this level. I do have slightly better. Oh, you know what? Everyone's gonna be yelling at me now. They're gonna be like, "Why didn't you take Perrin on a play date and take Perrin with you?" Uh, I didn't see him on the way. Okay. <laughs> I, I would honestly like to try that at some point and see see if I get a good score but I don't know part of me thinks it's a bit cheeky too I am seemingly a bit over leveled for this I'm 
trying to keep an eye out for chests. Apologies if I miss any. I'm going through quite quickly. Done that one. Not seeing any. Oh, yeah, do see one. Do see a chest, but how to get it is the question. Eh? Bar, so that's not a condenser either. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oops. <laughs> Getting fast at this, aren't I? Next level, I probably missed stuff around there too. Learning machine. Is it all the same stuff, yes. Good that I can get bullets and things in here as well if I'm being lazy and don't want to make them. So I think you get certain points for time, or time or points not cost for time. And then extra points for every time you smash up a, an enemy. How on earth did a yak mail get down here? Who knows? Another 600 points to get to level B. back please <laughs> techno cup I think I already put that in the museum though so I could put that on my house actually that would possibly start people looking at relics in my house which would be cool Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Ah, ah, I've been here before. Well, that's annoying. This way, I think. So I'm hoping the condenser will come as a prize. It does say it's somewhere in the breach, but I guess I keep going through here until I find it, either in a chest or in a chest at the end. That's why I'm looking for all the vending machines and trying to see if it's anywhere. Because it says it's in the breach, it doesn't say where, it doesn't say how. worry that this end area is like going to be full of stuff right so this is the third bit so that's usually some sort of boss fight again double check seems to be all gear and gems in here so oh this is the same as like the giggler's um main thing you remember
same layout as the uh, where the King Beagler was. guys are really not too bad, are they? Oh, the yeah, Mel just like sleeping there, having having a little care. I'm on S level now. This is the end here. Okay. S level, 37 monsters, uh, six and a half minutes, and 6,900 total points. Please have a condenser. Yes! <laughs> there is a condenser. Nice. That's all I needed. That's everything I needed to do today that I wanted to do. I did. Um, although I didn't do them in time to get back and make the canvas and make the petrified wood and hand it all in. And it's also nearly two in the morning as well. So... Uh, we're going to need that concealer tomorrow. But I feel like that was an amazing day. And despite the fact it's 42 minutes, I'm going to give you another day. But I am going right to sleep now. <laughs> and there was an fire, extra fireside meeting in there too. need to sleep earlier tonight. I try sometimes, okay? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Next time I get a gathering level, I'm going to be getting that uh, special perk. Howdy there. Heard you had a pretty crazy time in the shipwreck ruins. Wasn't too tough for you, was it? It was pretty tough. But you made it through all right. Ain't got a scratch on you. Well, no. Well, we did an initial check. There are still some old world AIs roaming around. But the poison gas you ran into seems to have dissipated so we're thinking of opening it up as a hazardous ruin oh nice let people dive around see what has gotten stole for that to happen we'll need a ladder to get in i can tell you right now we ain't throwing anyone else in that was clearly against regulation we'll also need to fix the two doors that you builders and the mayor used to enter and exit the place so what do you say you in yeah. i was going to have ryan do the ladder <laughs> but you know him I ain't gonna get anything back until a couple of seasons later because this is extra work. Yeah, and if you want it made out of wood as well, which so, probably won't be so I turn great. to you. Once you have the recipe, I think you're supposed to build it on your work table. Install it outside the shipwreck ruins after you're done. You know the drill by now, right? Yep. As for the doors, just bring some materials. I'm sure you can do your thing on site. Anyway, thanks a bunch. It's nice to be able to depend on someone reliable. Yeah, I'll have it done within a couple of days, not like a couple of seasons. Good grief. Looks like I need a bit of water on this one. And it looks like a load of the rose willow's done, so I'm just gonna harvest that, I think. Look at it go. That's doing really well. Okay, uh, I'll plant some more stuff in a bit. So we've got the canvas for one of my orders. Um, I can make another one piece of canvas. Hurrah. So I'll, I'll need to either plant the Duke Cantaloupe or... I do have room for it actually at the moment. Do I have straw to straw grid things? No. But I've got an empty bit of straw grid here, so let's, yeah, let's just plant at least one. Uh, 
so my modus operandi at the moment is to uh, just plant things around the 2 by 2s while keeping things as a 3 by 3 <laughs> yeah, don't have any any more straw at the moment. I could plant a few around here actually. That would be good. This is a very low level spot at the moment because it's new. But that is fine. I am willing to work on them. Right. Uh, I'll leave it at that for now until I can get some more straw. And I should now be able to make the steel spear. Lovely. And the petrified wooden sticks should be made on the processors. What do you mean I can make four, but I need five for the mission? Are you kidding me? I thought I had enough. I'm sure I calculated that right. Okay. Fine, then. A minute and a half for that. I'll have to go out and get that. And I want to get some chromium today as well. Uh, so I can take petrified wooden boards and chromium bars. Uh, once I handed some more commissions in. Nemo, would you like to go on a dig for me? <coughs> Nemo made me sneeze. I'm allergic to dogs, oh no. Come on then. And Macchiato is... Never here. I do love the way they've managed to code it in so that the cat always seems as if it was... I was always here right behind you. What are you on about? <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, so... Um, I might actually give you a gift today just to get you more in line with... Mr. Nemo. And I will... Send you off digging. I'm actually going to make some chromium bars ahead of time and see if I can maybe try and get uh, a couple of those commissions for that because they're always asking for it, basically. So, may as well. And I'll get, I'll just, yeah, I'll go get all the trees that I can in the desert. Uh, oh, yeah, and we can finish off uh, Amira's kiln. Good quality one too. So I'm gonna hand that in and then go up to the desert. Oh, Sandy Camel, I have a hat for you. Please have a safe trip home. Try some sand tea, a specialty in sand rock, and a great choice I'll to bring to back to your family. Though. So this is working quite well. Um, Sandy is now an associate. I think Sandy was the only one that wasn't an associate so far. But now look at Sandy go. Sandy's almost like halfway up to being a buddy now, so that's great. Um, I'm certain that I'll be able to then take Sandy on play dates with me and play critters and things. Yeah, that's totally going to happen. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just going to continually make hats throughout the <laughs> throughout the entire thing and get Sandy to my BFF. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can do it. I think I can do it. And then probably as people get to be BFFs, I'll just go and get opals, and then that's pretty much like seems to be quite a quite a standard thing across everybody, really, doesn't it? So it seems like three is a friend, but like so many people are so close to being like a good friend. Oh, it's, it's disgusting, really, isn't it? Cocoa bean! Don't 
give you the black saxon seed. Let's see, apparently I was supposed to be going up to the uh, up to the desert to plant as well today. Oh, I need to make the intermediate um, planting kit first. Okay, let's see if I can do that quickly. Because that would be super handy too. And then I'm really going to need a bigger place. I am just about managing with what we've got. But to do more farming would be terrible. Right, so intermediate planting kits. I need two simple circuits. Three bronze sticks. So let's put three bronze sticks on and then I'll go get the simple circuits. Bronze sticks would be a processor or a grinder i can never remember cast iron pipes what do i need them for oh the ladder okay. may as well do that then and the bronze sticks and cast iron rods also for the ladder okay i might need to make some more steel as well because it looks like i'm running out Although we do have some already. Oh, I need to quarry some more granite pretty soon. Actually, I need more iron before I need more granite for once in my life. Wow. Okay, simple circuit. So if I head over to the robot, I should be able to get one. Then I just need to go into the ruins for the second. Too hard to find usually. Oh, Venti has a request. Hey, do you want to go dig for scrap in the scrapyard again sometime soon? Sure. Same time, same place. I'll be waiting for you. It really is the only way you can get to know Venti. So I'm like, yes, absolutely. More scrap in the scrapyard. Scrapyard sneaks. Rocky will eventually find us and then he'll lose all of his friendship with me. It seems to usually pop up when my pass runs out, but... I always have to buy a new one, so... Uh, simple circuit, simple circuit, simple circuit, simple circuit. Wherever I go, pretty much. I'll reset it just in case I've already had the simple circuits on that level, but... I've just got a feeling that a bit lower down will be easier to find it for some reason. She says, and there's nothing showing up at all. There's quite a few things over there. Oh, come on. Let me in. Okay, there we are. What are they? Equatorial mount. Old parts. Basic toolbox. I think we go down here though, yeah. Toolbox. Toolbox. Okay, I'll get the toolboxes. If I've got several toolboxes, the likelihood of one of them having a simple circuit in is quite high. One day I'm going to really need some old parts and then I'm going to be really annoyed that I, I skipped over getting all the old parts in here, but it hasn't happened so far. <laughs> I'm going to open all the toolboxes now and just see what I get. Metal coil. Condensed power stone. Microchip. Simple circuits, old parts. Yes, okay, perfect. One of them did. So now we can make the 
advanced planting kit and go and dig things in the desert. Maybe a little later into the day than I wanted, but okay, it's fine. Come on, Hussy, you can do it. I need to be back here at about 11 o'clock to go uh, dig in with Venti as well. six steel bars as well. What? Well, luckily I'm making some, but oh, my generator just ran out of fuel as well. Oh, nightmare. So I've got enough sticks, I'm just waiting for the steel now, aren't I? Three steel bars needed. So I can either wait, or I can be impatient, and uh... No, I'm gonna wait, I think. Oh, I need to get out of here or I can't... The horse stands next to the machines, and all I do when I'm trying to get on the horse is get the machines in my face. So, yeah, let's not do that. Let's hand in commissions and then come back. The steel will be done and I'll be super happy and everything will be great. Okay, unsure. Here's your canvas. Thank you. You needed it for stuff. I'm very glad. Now, there were two commissions there, but I think one of them was justice because justice... Uh, come back here, but oh, really are you running now? Gonna sit in RVO shop. Meow to you too. I've seen that meerkat in a bit. There's something to hand in up here. The mirror's kiln, I think. Yeah, a mirror is just around the corner. that down then amazing this is it fantastic work i knew you could do it well diving into the ruins wasn't too great but you know other than that it was cool it seems your job is done but you don't have to be so quick out the door that is if you wanted to stay for a while you certainly could. Sure, let's fire up the new kiln. Ah, oh, right. Of course. You'd like to see the effort you put into this thing in action, no? Indeed. Let us fire it up. If I'm being absolute honest, I'm a bit afraid to turn it on. What if that masked man is right? What if I can't make the ceramics like he's encountered on his travels? You can do it. I hope you're right. Though, I'll admit, the whole encounter left me rather uncomfortable that discomfort is actually good for you there are people in your life that will tell you you're rubbish at something and that can either set a fire around your bum and make you do better or it can just you can just use you know get despondent about it but i wanted to set a good example for avio I wanted to show him that we shouldn't let ourselves be put no, down by haughty businessmen. He has a history of letting himself be pushed around, you know. That doesn't surprise me at all. It is very difficult, though, defending one's art in the face of such a connoisseur. You're awesome. <laughs> Do you think so? I was actually quite terrified. In any case, I need to stop feeling sorry for myself. Both you and Avio believed in me enough to get us this far. So, I simply try my best. There is no more room for doubt. No more room for doubt. Let's begin. Oh, they're all glazed now, so they can be all pretty patterns. Oh, 
<laughs> me you and need to me. keep your hands steady. Try not to shake. Control your breathing. <laughs> From a distance? I can't tell who worked on which. You've got quite a knack for these kinds of things. Once the glaze is finished, I'll send one of them to you. Thanks for spending time with me. It was nice chatting and working on this project together. Perhaps it could be said that we make a good team? Yeah, we do. I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now. Bye for now, Mira. Right, so... What was I even doing? I don't even know. I need to go find petrified wood. I'm waiting on the stuff to... the, the metal. For... Okay, and we need to get chromium as well. I think I'm going to go back to my workshop and see if the steel is done enough for me to make the intermediate to planting box. If it is, then great. Um, there's no point in me going every single day to the moisture farm to pick up the jute. I think it will eventually just like go back up to 20 every four days or so. So my probably my best bet is to go up there every three or four days and just pick up a few pieces that, uh, each time. Right. Oh no! I need one more. All right, Hugo, you have my you have my custom. I'm not waiting anymore. I'll go over to Hugo. I'll buy one steel bar. I'll come back and they'll be ready. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind spending 74 goals on one, one chromium bar. No, steel bar, sorry. You can't buy chromium bars from here yet. I Probably not until I've mined some chromium myself. It's kind of, I think that's kind of when it shows up, once you've actually got the stuff yourself. So we should be able to make intermediate planting kit. Yes. And we can't quite make the iron ladder yet. Working on it though. Four of the petrified wooden sticks are done. I need two pieces of petrified wood. That's so frustrating. I could have absolutely sworn that I checked it. But I must, there must have been something like petrified wood used in Amira's kiln or something I hadn't accounted for happened there. So, right, let's head out to the desert then and do my desert planting. With my new planting kit. And what this allows you to do is, is to make bigger um, plots. Getting, gonna get dark soon, isn't it? I'm gonna be doing this in the dark again. I'm sure this happened last time. I ended up doing this in the dark. And then I was like, yay, my thumbnail looks so well illuminated. Because, like, it's all so light and lovely. I have methods. Add a bit of yellow to it. Brighten it up. <laughs> okay, let's go. Go, oh, Trudy, Trudy. Um, I can find where it starts. That'd be great. Digging in the dark. We're digging in the dark. Probably a good time to do it, actually, to be honest. In the desert, the evening is probably actually a fantastic time because it means that the plants get overnight to get Glad you could make it before they have Come to on. deal with the heat. Sun. Let's get started. We're a long way from our goal. Oh, by the way, here's some water for the trees. All right, I think that's enough chit chat. Let's get going. Hopefully, I've got, they gave me straw as well. Or maybe I just do it in the ones that they've already. Anyway, let's go into planting mode. Oh. Go into planting mode? Go into planting mode here. And then it's um, hmm. 
many am I supposed to do? I've done five. Yeah. Oh, they've given me a whole load of bio crust as well. I figure I just continue the pattern. Okay, so I've done five. I'll come out of farming mode so I can see my uh, tasks as well. It'll probably help if the... Okay, I need another five done. I was going to say it'd help if I actually tracked the right thing as well. So we'll use the bio crust. Now I should be able to... Increase the size on it. Control, shift. Let me just go into my inventory and use, make sure I've used the intermediate planting kit. Wonderful. Tab for scale. There we are. I knew there was a reason I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do. Oh, just enough room. Wow. trees. Water those five and then I'm done. Okay. I truly have finished. Thanks for the assist. I think we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. I'm hoping for the best. Me too. Okay, is that that all done now? Yes, and I don't have enough of the ladder pieces yet. Wait for them to mature. Scrapyard after 11. We are nearly at 11, so yeah, we need to get over to the scrapyard then. And go see Benty. What an eventful little episode this was. Good grief. So much done. So, so much done. Right. Yeah. Um, so, next episode I'll need to make some more, some more hats for Sandy Camel. It's becoming a bit of a thing now. <laughs> But it'd be nice if I could just give uh, Sandy enough hats to get to... So probably another five or six hats, I think, to get to buddy level. Assuming that it's like 200 points to get between associate and buddy. Which I think it might be. Oh no, I'm getting a bit late here now. Oh, oh no. It's okay. They do. It is after 11, not just exactly on the dot of 11. Hey! I always end up going past midnight with these, but it's worth it for Venti. Nice to see you again. Come on, let's go dig for some scrap together. We found a lot of new scrap from the ruins today, so we should be able to recycle a lot of good things. Wait, did you hear something? Who's there? Oh no, we've been rumbled. Uh-oh, we need to hide, quick. Who's there? Somebody stealing from me? Oh no, what do we do? Both in the name of the mechanical claw, both of you. Oh what no. The? Venti? And you too? We've been totally rumbled. What in the heck is going on here? You two been sneaking in here? Yeah. Boss, I'm sorry. 
It was my idea. My friend had nothing to do with it. Venti, I can hardly believe what I'm seeing. Am I not paying you enough? I trust you with the keys and this is what you go and do? Then you go in and bring in an honest builder into your little scam? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't send you packing. Cause she's cool. I... I... Venti has a good heart. What? She wanted to help you? Get free scrap? Well, guess what? If we don't get paid, we don't eat. And if we don't eat, ain't nobody to put free scrap up here for you to steal, Venti. Look, uh... I don't want none of this to reflect badly on you Fala Salvage Co., alright? So, let's keep all this in the family, yeah? You keep whatever Venti gave you. I ain't gonna press charges or nothing. Okay. Venti, you take some time off. You're benched. Clear your head. I'll do the same. We'll talk about this in a couple days. Okay. Sorry you had to see that. I'm gonna try and get some shut-eye. You ought to do the same. Oops. Got 25 relationship with Venti though. <laughs> Look. Uh, that's the only reason I have any relationship with Venti whatsoever. Oh, actually, she's come right up. Look, nearly my buddy. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can play some critters. Because, oh! Hmm. Birthday is the 12th of summer. That's the day at the junkyard I find the cup that changed my life. The one that said Venti on it. Aww. <laughs> I heard you get a great, a big bonus after winning workshop of the year. I bet you're raring to get back to work now. Do critters and an opal. I'm just gonna see if I can get her up to Buddy, then I can just take her on play dates to get her up. Ooh, mouse all the way, isn't it? Ah, venti, mouse, 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 cat, really? Mouse. Elephant. Oh no! Mouse. I was gonna play box then, I'd already lost though. I suck at this against Venti. My goodness. Alright, victory on that one at least. <laughs> Plus seven. That's not too bad. Venti also. Um, I'm gonna try Venti with gold. Wow! Thank you so much. There we are. This looks so rare. The sun shines beautifully on it. It's really beautiful. I'm gonna be really careful with this. Thank you. Uh, so that's a really gold is good for Venti, as good as it is for X. So Venti and X so far are the most appreciative of gold. I had a feeling, seeing that she was like so poor and she works in a scrapyard and she probably like finds things in the scrapyard that are sometimes precious and really enjoys finding them. So I, I kind of thought, yeah, maybe. And I was right. Okay, well, that is it for today's uh, episode. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna have to top my water up so my animals don't get thirsty now, apparently, wow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.